welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble and I'm here in London. I'm in my sister's garden right next to the river. I'm not in a cage. This is just a wire fence to keep the children from jumping in the, in the lake or the river, I should say. So here I am, still jet lagged, but I'm here nonetheless. Um, if you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for coming and I really hope that you enjoy these readings and that you keep coming back. And if you're coming back, thank you. You're the reason I do this. Thank you so much. Anyway, so let's, um, oh, okay. So I, I just have to do my sales pitch, darling. <laughs> <laughs> These readings that I uh, do, are, first of all, it'll be for the um, 2nd of July through the 8th of July. And last week in the intro, I said happy birthday cancer because it's cancer season. So it confused everyone. So I'll wait till I get to the cancer re reading before I say happy birthday. Um, this is for your sun, moon and rising. I'll have all the links to the other videos below in the see more section. Also, this is a private reading guys. So if you would like a personal reading, if you click on this, um, you can get a personal or find out how to get a personal reading through that link and also thank you for all those that um, got readings from me on instant go it was amazing I actually did two last night at three one at 3 45 in the morning I was completely jet lagged 3 45 uh, UK time um, so thank you I really appreciate that. Now, another way to support me is through Patreon and that link will be right here and you can uh, click on that. I have I have varying uh, rewards, reward levels and I do posts just specifically for Patreons that I don't usually do for, you know, regular, um, you know, for everyone. So um, let me see what else. Please don't forget to like, share comment and subscribe if you haven't already. So now the uh, astrological report for the week. Um, so on the 4th of July, this is for the 4th through the 8th, on the 4th of July, happy Independence Day, America. You're independent from us. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm American, so I can't even say that anymore. I'm now American. Um, Wednesday on Independence Day, <laughs> Mercury in Leo opposes Mars in Aquarius. What does that mean now? So Mercury, the planet of intellect, thought, communication and technology um, is in Leo. Now that's like creative thought, you know, it's, the, it's all about identity. So, you, you know, it's creative thinking, right? And it's opposing Mars, Mars, the planet of war, action um, in Aquarius, which is humanitarian, social. Um, so what this means in Mars, actually Mars is retrograde technically, but really it's kind of stationary. You know, a planet has to go into a stationary uh, position before it can change direction, right? You slow down and then you go um, in another direction. So Mars is still a bit stationary right now. So what that does is it enhances all the energies. Um, so I think on the negative side, we could have some challenging uh communications issues some kind of miscommunication and on the positive side we could have some really incredible creative ideas of uh, what to do next or where to go next um, now on the fifth the sun in cancer is in a cancer is about the home it's about family it's about nurturing um, it's about intuition um, and that is going to um, that's in a really positive connection to Jupiter in Scorpio. Now, Jupiter is the planet of expansion. Scorpio is the, channel, the planet of, uh, Scorpio is the sign of death and rebirth and um, secrets and uh, power and control, right? Um, so this is in a positive aspect. Now, it's also in a positive aspect. So Scorpio is a water sign, right? Cancer is a water sign because the sun's in Cancer. And it's also, the sun in Cancer is also in a positive aspect to Neptune in Pisces, another water sign. Neptune is the planet of illusion and dreamlike and uh, spirituality, the unseen, the intangible. Um, 
So this uh, and, and Pisces is the water sign, another water sign. Oh, everything, it's a bit blow, it's a bit windy here. I hope you can hear me properly. I've got my mic showing here um, because it needs to be closer to me so that you can hear. So this is what we call in astrology, we call this a grand water trine. Now, what does that mean? That means that we could really have, and, and a trine is a very positive aspect, so we could have you know, it's going to be emotional, guys. Um, we are also coming up to the eclipse, don't forget, uh, the eclipse season. And we have a new moon eclipse at the, a new moon lunar eclipse at the end of the month, um, uh, towards the end of the month. So we're kind of feeling these energies. Eclipses are all about releasing, right? So we could have some really healing kind of emotional uh, experiences and with close family and, uh, and close relationships, our friendships who, whom we can consider as uh, family. So I think this could be a very positive healing experience and the release of emotions so that we can actually release it and allow it to go over. So I think that this is a wonderful healing opportunity. So that that's all I want to say for the astrology report today. And let's go to your reading, shall we? Hello, Leo, and welcome to your reading for July the 2nd through July the 8th. Okay, so having had the <laughs> cards fly all over the garden, um, the Six of Pentacles is your first card up. And the Six of Pentacles is it's kind of childhood issues coming coming up for you. Or perhaps you're uh, looking at the past through rose-coloured glasses. This Grand Water Trine with Pisces and Neptune and the Sun in Cancer, um, clarifying it, can be about looking um, at things kind of it's like an illusion right so it's about looking at the past through rose-colored glasses but I have a feeling that some issues are going to come up for you from your childhood and it's time to oh here are the swans coming in I'm so happy that they're coming past um while you're seven little um little babies although they're getting rather big anyway so clarifying this there are two cards you have the justice card and you have the four of pentacles now the justice card is about balance darling there there they are aren't they gorgeous that's i was hoping that they would come past while i was doing the readings um so this is about this is about balance right so Sometimes, look, when we're thinking about the past, we're lamenting about the past or we're looking at the past favorably saying, oh, I wish it was, you know, we're not in the present moment, are we? And and this is saying that you need some balance in your life. So you kind of need to look. It's OK to look at the past. It's OK to learn from mistakes, but it's not OK to kind of stay back there. Right. And you've got the Four of Pentacles, which indicates, can you see that? The Four of Pentacles indicates that um, you're holding on to something. So I have a feeling that some things could come up for you this week and there's an opportunity to heal. Um, and I really believe that with the sun in Cancer and um, we also have Jupiter in Scorpio, in the Grand Trine and we've got uh, Neptune in Pisces in this beautiful relationship to the Sun in Cancer. So this is a wonderful opportunity for healing um, and healing from the past, you know. Uh, anything that went on in your childhood, it's all about family. It's all about bringing those things up, bringing them into the light and allowing them to be uh, healed and dealing and looking at them once and for all. So now the next card that comes up is the world, darling. This is an opportunity. This is change, definitely. And it's also about death and rebirth. You know, this is about, look, you've been around, <laughs> I want to sing that song, been around the world, nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you've been around the world. You have all this experience, all this life experience, and you can choose to live the way you have and do exactly the same all over again, or you can 
make a wonderful positive change and this can also this is an opportunity to follow your life purpose Leo this is a perfect time the universe is going to support any kind of change that you make life changing right any changes that are that are, present themselves the universe will support you now clarifying it is the magician darling you have everything you need to create the life you desire the magician has all the elements in place and you know he can manipulate and change them to make them work for him now the you can hear the chimes it's pretty windy but it's lovely and warm here um some people call that's my notebook some people call the magician uh a trickster i don't i think he's a co-creator i'm sorry there's a helicopter going on <laughs> overhead i call him the co-creator So he has all the elements in place and he uses all the elements to create whatever his heart desires, you know. He co-creates with what's available. He makes, if lemons are there, he'll make lemonade. It's that kind of thing. He'll manipulate whatever he needs to, to create. This is saying you have the power to create your life. Don't allow life to happen to you, you know you happen to life right so now the next card that comes up leo is the five of wands which indicates kind of a little competition kind of a little bickering somewhere perhaps at work with the ones it usually means at work there's something there's a situation going on that's like you have to deal with this is saying when this happens, it's saying, yes, you've got to deal with this, but deal with it in a creative way. Clarifying it is the five of one. It, this is five of rods in this, uh, you know, in this deck, but it's really the five of ones. So this is saying, this doesn't surprise me. You've got Mercury in Leo, your sign, opposing Mars in Aquarius. So this can come up and that's not major. But what this is asking you to do is when something comes up like this, there's, uh, you know, there may be something at work, there's a group, there's something going on. Somebody, somebody is talking, somebody's gossiping. This is saying, come up with a creative way to handle it. Do not be combative at this time, but be diplomatic. Um, and sometimes it also means that you can uh, dance to your own drum. So don't be... Don't, don't, don't make a decision under peer pressure. Don't just go with the group just as a people pleasing thing. This is not about winning an argument. It's about um, taking everyone's situation into consideration and coming up with a wonderful creative solution. So this, and also when you do, you're going to feel really triumphant because you've, you're going to solve a situation in a very creative way. And, um, and also, you people will take notice of how you handled it at work. So I think it's very important for you to, you know, take note when this happens. Um, so now, Leo, we are going to pull a romance angel card. First of all, we'll pull them for... Uh, single Leos and then we'll pull one for partnered Leos. Let's see what we have. What do the romance angels, what wonderful information, gifts and guidance do the romance angels have for, can for sorry, <laughs> for single Leos? What wonderful blessings. What wonderful information, blessings, and guidance do the Romance Angels have for single Leos? What wonderful blessings.
Oh, look at that. Oh, I love this. You deserve love. Can you see that? That is your message from the Romance Angels. You deserve love, Leo. You know, you can get the love that you deserve. You have to believe that you deserve it. You have to know that you deserve it. You know, this is also about saying I am lovable. And I do deserve, everyone deserves to be loved, darling, everyone. So now we're going to pull a card, a Romance Angel card for partnered Leos. Let's see what the Romance Angels have to say for partnered Leos. Okay, what wonderful, oh, well, two came out. Okay, so finances and career. Finance, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So perhaps you're having some difficulties or you're arguing with your partner about, you know, about your finances. So these are, you know, you don't have to be married to someone, you can be partnered, but this is, you also, this also fell out. So this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So this is, this person that you're involved with is a very important person. This is a special person. So it's important to work through your issues. If they're financial, you need to kind of address them. Financial issues can be the make or break of a relationship sometimes. So it's very important to kind of deal with them. It's important, you know, this could be um, the five of rods, you know. It's important to be creative when dealing with this uh, situation because finances can, you know, can be very damaging um, in a relationship when they become the biggest issue. So I think it's very important to deal with these. Think of a creative way to deal with it. You know, sit down and take responsibility for your part in it and understand, try to under, be in the other person's uh, shoe and try to understand where they're coming from, what their problem is, you know, and you can then explain what your problem is. And if you can't do it together, then definitely get uh, a neutral person that can help you, a counsellor or something, because this, I believe that this is worth working on. Leo, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media and comment. I, and also, if you know anyone that would like a shout out for their birthday this month, please write it in the comment below and I'll give them a shout out. Mwah. I love you all and I'll see you next week. All the babies, look at them. How old do you think they are, Kathleen? Um, one, two. Only well, got the docs here too. Look For a them. personal reading, please go to www.liveinthesolution.com. The four, maybe four weeks. How can they be? No, I'm just saying that because of the no, story.